as we are continuing our Rainforest Collaborative short series, today we are making ice cream. So I know y'all might be thinking, Dan's ice cream Rainforest, none of this is making sense. But hold on, everything soon makes sense. So Rainforest has frozen strawberries and if you are a regular Jamily customer, you will know that uh, my strawberry jamelis um, are done using um, Rainforest frozen strawberries and I absolutely love them. Like, kid you not guys, I have bought fr um, fresh strawberries that aren't as fresh as Rainforest frozen strawberries. Honestly, Rainforest, big up Uno with the frozen strawberries are it. So today I am making one of my favorite ice cream and I know this is Loxon's favorite ice cream too although it just kind of sits in the fridge afterwards but I am making a strawberry cheesecake ice cream without an ice cream maker. Yes guys, you can do it. So you know, you don't necessarily have to have an ice cream maker to make ice cream. So we're going to be using this no churn recipe to make strawberry cheesecake ice cream. All of it just sounds very complicated, but I promise it's very simple. This video is gonna be very, very quick and easy. It's a fun treat that you will enjoy, kids will enjoy. And of course, Rainforest does have other frozen fruits that you can use if you're not a big strawberry fan. But all in all, guys, um, that's going to be it for me today. I know you guys will like this. Uh, um, recipe let me know what you guys think about it in the comments down below and also don't forget guys to continue sharing continue subscribing and most importantly guys continue watching I will see you next week on our short series finale which is episode 4 of our rainforest collaborative short series We are going to be starting off with our strawberries from Rainforest. So we are working with frozen strawberries today for the strawberry component of our strawberry cheesecake ice cream. So this is how it's packaged. I love the packaging. And so what we'll be doing is we'll just be mixing this with um, some lime juice and sugar in a pot and bringing it to a boil so we can add it to our strawberry ice cream. Alright guys, so we're just going to let this cook for about 7 minutes um, on medium low heat. We want it to thicken a bit but not like too thick where it's like a jam consistency. And we also don't want it too liquidy because that will just change the complete um, color of the ice cream base. So we're just going to let it cook, like I said, for 7 minutes until the strawberries are softened and they, you know, kind of gel together nicely. Alright guys, so after about 7 minutes, this is the consistency that it has, this is how you want it to look, not too thick, not too liquidy, just right in the middle. So now we're just going to pull this off and let it cool down completely for like an hour in the fridge. Alright guys, so as we will be making a no churn ice cream, we have to use heavy cream as the base so here i have a bowl that i would have had in the freezer chilling along with the beaters of my mixer um and then we're just gonna pour in our heavy cream and whip 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 i've whipped the heavy cream until stiff beets would have formed you see how I can flip the bowl upside it down and it doesn't fall out? That is how you know that your whipping cream is whipped properly. And you see how stiff the peaks are on the beaters itself. So now that we have the whipping cream good and ready, we can set it aside and move on to our cream cheese. Alright guys, so as we continue making our base, the next thing we're going to get started on is our cream cheese bar. And we're just going to be whipping that for about 2-3 to three minutes on medium speed. We have our cream cheese beaten so we're just gonna 
Add that to the bowl with our heavy whipping cream and our condensed milk to finish off our ice cream base. To our whipped cream cheese, we're gonna add some vanilla extract followed by the condensed milk, and then we're just gonna whip that together, then fold in our heavy cream. So let's go. Alright guys, so now that everything is nice and incorporated and smooth, it's time to fold in our strawberries. Now we need to do it gently so that the strawberries don't change the color totally of the base. So let's go. Alright guys, so I'm starting by adding the ice cream base to a loaf tin lined with cookie sheet and then I will add some crushed crackers now I'm using those honey wheat crackers if you are able to find graham crackers you can use that as well it's completely fine I'm just using this as a substitute today and then I'm going to be adding um, some of the reserved strawberries afterwards to create like that nice swirled effect so I'm adding the cookie um bits no i just crushed those up a little bit and then i'll add in some more of the strawberries create a swirl effect and just repeat that until i'm out of uh, ice cream base and then we will freeze this for about seven hours Alright guys, so we're done layering and swirling, so now we are good and ready to put this in the freezer so it can get nice and frozen, so we can just dig in afterwards. So we're going to be freezing this for about 7 hours. If you want to leave it overnight, if you can resist the temptation, that's great, um, but 7 hours is what we're uh, shooting for. 8 hours later. Alright guys, so I left it just one hour extra. This is what it looks like. Nice and frozen. All this creamy goodness. So let's scoop it out and see what gives. Alrighty folks, we are at the end and this is the finished product honestly i cannot even begin to describe how decadent this is um i absolutely love the texture for me it's the strawberries the tang that you get from them that natural acidity that just kind of cuts through all of that cream and fat and sweet is just amazing 10 out of 10 would recommend um if you guys have not tried any single recipe on my channel i would 10 out of 10 recommend this one so that's it from me you know guys i don't have a long thing to say today because it's just that good rainforest once again win with these frozen strawberries absolutely love them so that's it from me for this quick ice cream video one of my favorite strawberry cheesecake ice cream let me know what you guys think about this video in the comments down below let me know if you guys are going to be trying it and don't forget to like comment share and subscribe i'll see you guys next week